Raymond got on the lift. We loaded him. I helped get him on down here. I went upstairs to meet him at the top, and he was coming up. And all of a sudden, I heard his chair rolling. And the next thing I could hear, it was like slow motion. I was at the top landing looking down on him, but I saw his chair go right out into space. And the end thing that was supposed to stop him looks like it just folded down. And again, it seemed like it was minutes, not seconds, but the chair went out and he landed on his head. I ran down the stairs to the bottom. The chair was on top of him and I pulled him off. His head was all busted open. He is still on his G-tube. We are attempting to teach him to eat regular food again. It's absolutely nothing like what we eat. I have to make him special food every day. He has to have range of motion so that his muscles don't tighten up. We have to do that at least three to four times a day, but we do it morning, lunch, and dinner usually, and then bedtime. But just the thought through the day that our whole lives for both Fran and myself, besides Ray, I feel bad for Ray, but it's also, we have no life anymore either, none of us. And I mean, even to get out to go to lunch, we have to make an appointment with ourselves a week ahead of time and try and find somebody to watch him for one hour um, so that we can do something on our own. Um, we just talked about our 30th anniversary comes up in a little while and to see if we can figure a way that we can go out to dinner. Just the two of us for our 30th wedding anniversary. <laughs> so. You know, the doctors have said to us, you know, Ray, he's not going to get up and walk down the hall or he's not going to go out and play football. And I said, I knew that he would never do those things. But the smallest, sorry. The smallest miracle I hope for is if you could ever start talking to me again. And I really hope the one goal in life is if he could start communicating even the smallest words in some way with us or the smallest independence of being able to drive his chair. And again, we work every single day on trying it, even though the doctors have said it's probably not going to happen. But we still hope that it's going to happen.